Hey gear seekers, I'm Nick. Sometimes when you want to buy a new cooling solution for your CPU, you might be, well, a little bit, how can I say, like kind of like afraid, and you're afraid of how hard it is to install a new AIO water cooler in your system. I'm here to help you make that process a little bit easier. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that little button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload multiple times per week, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed. Pretty simple stuff, right? Also, we've got a Discord community, so come and have a chat with us. The link to that is down below. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a Thermaltake Flow Ring RGB all-in-one water cooler on both Intel 11.5X and AMD AM4 sockets. And as you're about to see, there isn't much difference with the insulation between both types of sockets. So you're only gonna need one tool for this insulation and that is a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> just one tool, okay? Just one. All right, now you're gonna need this bracket right here for an Intel install. Now, this is a back plate. This goes behind the motherboard. And as you can see here, these little bits actually move to adjust with the difference in the offset of the holes themselves. But usually with 11.5X installs, push them all the way to the middle. Now for the Intel portion of this install guide, you're gonna need these guys here to fasten the back plate to the motherboard itself. And also this bracket here for Intel based installations. Now, if you're gonna do it on a like a 20XX type of install, you'll need the same bracket. Now, these are the thumb screws that you're gonna need for both socket installs. So yeah, so what you wanna do is actually line up the back plate with the holes that are pre-drilled in your motherboard. Don't worry, you don't have to drill anything and they should line up just like so. Now, what you're gonna wanna do is flip over your board and get those bolt standoff screw things like these guys right here, right? And then you're gonna wanna screw them in just like this. Pretty straightforward stuff, like it, it's not gonna hurt your brain too much doing this part of the install. Now, just drop the bracket on top. This part will require you to use those thumb screws we just talked about. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put them on very lightly. Now, like half a turn or like a full turn, but don't tighten them up all the way because as you're about to see, it moves up and down and it's basically how you mount the block. And it actually mounts to these teeth here. That's what keeps it in place. We'll come back to that and talk about that a bit later. Now, this is the difference between the AMD install and the Intel install. The standoff screws you need are these ones, right? And so the way you do this is every AM4 board has these brackets pre-installed. What we're gonna do is just I'm gonna show you a trick, right? You take off one side first, so you don't, like, the back plate doesn't fall off. And you install the bolts on them just like this. Wait for it, wait for it. Just like this. <laughs> and yeah, they kind of just screw in so you don't have the back plate falling off. And rinse and repeat that process on the other side, just like, that, right? Yeah. Now the AMD bracket is only a little bit different. It has like elongated kind of holes, but yeah, I mean, it looks different. Now you drop it on exactly the same way and use the exact same technique with that kind of half turn, full turn, but don't tighten them up all the way. Otherwise you'll be in for a very bad day and you will complain to me in the comment section that I told you to do the wrong thing, which I didn't tell you to do. Just do them up very, very lightly. And yeah, you need that up and down jiggle movement so you can get the block on. But we'll come back to installing the block and show you how to install the fans. Now, this is up for debate, guys. You can install it any way you like. I'm not gonna recommend the best way, except this is the way that I would install it in this case and in most cases. Now that's out of the way, let's show you how to install the fans. You need eight of these guys here and basically you just screw them in. And I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier, but this is actually the 280 millimeter version of this cooler. Now this guide will actually apply to every single one of these coolers in this range of coolers, right? I'm kind of repeating myself. Right now we're gonna install it into the case itself and it's pretty straightforward. You use the included screws and washers to attach it to the front of the case. Well, in my case, that's how I did it here. Now we're getting onto some of the good stuff. Now I talked about these little notchy groove bits earlier. Now this applies to both Intel and AMD. So listen very, very carefully. These notches are what actually helps it attach to your 
mounting system. Basically what you do is you put it between the gaps, slightly pull the bracket away and twist. And what you'll notice is the teeth will actually grab and yeah, you then tighten up each corner. I usually do it like a wheel. You do it like in each corner to displace the pressure evenly. I don't know, like you, you, you can do it whichever way you like. And yeah, that's it's pretty straightforward. You're done at that point for that part. I'm not gonna talk about cable management, but I'm gonna show you what to plug in. Now we're gonna plug in the pump speed controller into the optional or AIO or fan opt or CPU opt or whatever. It's like there's most new motherboards basically have a connector for AIO pumps to connect it to. And in this case, it's called CPU opt. Now you'll notice you have one extra cable coming off the CPU block. It looks like a USB header but it's not. It actually plugs into this RGB controller. Now this is actually a nine pin USB header with micro USB cables and this is included as well. And basically you wanna jam it in just like so. Hey, hey, stop being rude. Plug it in, mate, plug it in. Okay, okay. Now you wanna plug that header into your motherboard just like that. Now this is the power to actually power the controller. Some reason it's still molex i don't know why and you plug it in just like so pretty straightforward stuff this is like you can do this ugh, come on i don't even need to explain this part let's be honest plug in the usb cable that you just plugged into the header pretty straightforward stuff here now these nine pin connectors are actually not usb they're the proprietary rgb connector and all you do is get the three cables you've got laying around from those from like the fans on the pump and plug them in it's it's pretty straightforward stuff it only goes in one way so you can't really mess up plugging that in last of all plug in the molex power for the controller and you're ready to turn your system on and have all of that aio cold goodness If you want to grab one of these AIO water coolers, there is a link in the description down there. <laughs> if you have any questions about anything in particular, about like installing these kind of coolers, drop a comment down below, or yeah, come and chat with us on Discord, in our Discord community. There is also a link to that down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, tell us what you didn't like about it. And yeah, you guys know the drill by now, or if not, Tell us what you didn't like about it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek, and yeah, rest easy, guys. Also, I just wanted to say something. I get this comment a lot, and I'm just—I thought I might just add this in the end, and I think I might do a whole another video about this, guys. You don't need to refill your AIOs. <laughs> Seriously, we get so many comments about it; it's crazy. You just don't need to do that. But yeah. We'll do that in another video. We'll talk about it. We'll be, we'll, we'll talk about it. But yeah, we'll see you guys later, right? Just goodbye. Bye.